with a ball through. Stenser sends it through. Turn, Negri, Jury. Negri again. He's got a bit of work to do here, surrounded by Gothenburg players. And in fact, so far, Turn and Stenser have looked the two capable of playing it simple and just keeping possession, and that's the right thing to do at this time. Here's Albert. Good run by him. And he just couldn't get uh, the direction. Oh, this is Albert. Stensas. Now Paul Gascoigne's in space on the far side, calling for it. Jury's there, though. Well, Paul Gascoigne had got into good space on the right plus forward here. Turned by Lusic. Again, height causing problems. So they have another corner kick. Same towards Gordon Jury. Good touch by him now to uh, Alec Cleland. Negri's in the middle. Jury's up there as well. Stens is arriving the far side. The touch from Jury. And Negri will to keep that one down. So Bjorklund tries to pick up the play for Rangers, but makes rather a mess of that one. This is Stefan Peterson. In comes Per Carlson, and uh, he can't get any power into that. Point. It's turn. Jury's away on the far side. Jury using his tremendous pace. Negri's coming in as well. And Jury decides to have a go. Well, it's a great break by Jury. We saw his pace. That's going again to take it. They push plenty of players forward. It's away to the far side towards George Alberts. Uh, it was Andreas Anderson back helping in defence who got it away. Again, Alberts is powering forward, getting in a decent cross and uh, well handled by the situation. Selling mark now for IFK. Simply playing with a bit more confidence. And Stefan Peterson's in a bit of space here. Clellan comes to beat him. Till it's Peterson! Well, he tried to curl that one away beyond Andy Gorham. Well, still an effective player, a dangerous player. And that certainly appealed to the home fans. He punched in that slip. But he's got to know how to find a yard. And although Cleland slips, his ankle's good. You see him try to bend it in that far. For Lusic. By Vietmar, not convincingly though. The effort going in from Magnus Erlingmark. That's the backtrack of it. Now for a turn. Three allows advantage. Stensas uh, still in the deck. Good run here by Jonas Tern. It's Gordon Jury. Well, Jury tried to tee things up for himself and it was pinned through. And uh, Gordon Jury. And this is another opportunity just trying to step away from the defender and Per Carlson come in. There's a header going in, but uh, the referee's whistle had gone. Please rejoin us. Uh, like Rangers in Scotland, they dominate the domestic scene here. And of course, they've also uh, won the UEFA Cup on uh, two occasions. And there's an early effort going in from uh, Gordon Jury. The diving header. So Rangers uh, pushing forward right from the start in the second half. They made a good start to the match. There's perhaps a bit of uh, slackness in midfield towards the interval, but uh, a long ball through there from uh, Stensis. And uh, Ravelli. He does well. Gordon Jury's running with him. Paul Gascoigne's coming in a run as well. Gascoigne's away out on the right hand side. It's Jury trying to force his way through and trying to get through to Negri of Gascoigne. Alberts now. They force a cross field. He picks out Alec Cleland. And the effort going in from Cleland. Well, he scored an excellent goal against uh, Hearts last week. He decides to have a... Well, the back passes to Andy Gorham. Good touch by Jury again. It's Cleland driving it forward. Gascoigne's there! Good effort by Paul Gascoigne. Good play by Rangers. He really launched himself at that ball. Great cross from Crelling, great pace, he puts it in the area. Let's Gascoigne go and attack it, it's a great header, just off target. Uh, 
Rangers were to come out uh, with a nil-nil draw, it would be a bad result, but uh, I think they'd feel a lot more comfortable if they were to score, but uh, they're going to have to try and keep one out. Here is Peterson. Stefan Peterson with a superb strike. Well, this is the man who put Dundee United to the sword here ten years ago. He lashes the ball past Andy Gorham. Stefan Peterson at the age of 35 is still an effective force and the home fans really enjoyed that one. It just set up nicely for him. And he sent it beyond Andy Gorham with great power. But again, he wasn't picked up. The Rangers management team will not be happy with that, but it's a superb finish. Yes, bad defensive play from Rangers, they're far too deep. There's Alberts. I think it's Tern struggling to get back. The right side defensively. But it's a superb finish from Peterson. Peterson giving the home side the lead after 55 minutes. It's turn. Good ball through for Alberts. Stensas is running in support on the left. That's running into a bit of trouble. And the break's on again here. It's Robert Anderson. And the home side uh, will take a lot of confidence from that goal. Gives another opportunity. And Andy Gorham has failed to keep it out, surely. The goal is given. The ball appeared to cross the line. It's Ter Carlson. Well, this has absolutely stunned Rangers. Two goals in three minutes. 58 minutes gone here at the Ulevi Stadium. It's IFK 2, Rangers 0. It looked as though Andy Gorham may have made a good save, but the ball certainly from this angle appeared to have crossed the line and the referee pointed towards the centre circle and came Carlson, got him got a touch it looked as though it might drop over the bar and certainly it looked to be over at that stage well again it was caused by Alberts giving the ball away cheaply when they had a good position suddenly Perini he's exploited there in defensive unit Cleland can't get back Gorham can only palm it in the air the Rangers, as we said just before half time have only got themselves to blame Remarkable turnaround in this game. Rangers started a couple of goals, simply giving away two goals without IFK actually playing well. And, and that must be criminal. Yeah, slackness involved in both, Charlie. That's exactly it. And Wallace Smith must be fuming, thinking as comfortable as his team were at half time. And there's another opportunity on here. Oh, and Gorham's lost it. But uh, the referee says no goal. Well, Nicholas Alexanderson it was who had the effort. And Andy Gorham was struggling again and scrambling. Stens has failed to cut out the danger. Alex Anderson was on to it. Andy Gorham lost it just here. And just kept it out. Good decision by the referee, Nathatkinen. Well, who knows what might have happened. And here's Perini in trouble now. And that might have been punished as well by Robert Anderson. Again. Alex Anderson, but uh, no power in that one. But, uh, Rangers bringing the passes together. Again, looking very comfortable and confident. Yes, Anderson, keeping that one in play. And the glancing header going in. Different level of football and uh, rescued Rangers last week. If he could certainly, if he could get one back tonight, it would be a very important goal indeed. But uh, IFK look the likelier side at the moment. Well, they're certainly squandering a few opportunities now. And while it's Gascoigne breaking at the other end, Rangers might have been the three down. Can they pull one back here? And there's players queuing up for this one. Uh, Jury got the touch. And it's beat miles away at the far side, completely unmarked. It's played shot there to Ferguson. Well, you can only say he'll be disappointed with that one, but uh, Tony Wiedmar was in a lot of space on the left side of the area. No one picked him out. So Ian Ferguson packs a good shot, but uh, from next door in this small stadium, which uh, holds 17,000, they play to 8,000 people on average. They come in here and uh, they tend to raise their game, but here's McCoyst. Rangers fans are praying for a goal here. That's McCoyst! And right across the face of goal. Well, he had a real purple patch with the headers. 
less season than the season before. And the glancing header there, wide of target. Well, he couldn't believe his luck. No pressure on him. He's got to hit the target. So often in the past, this man hits the target. This is a brilliant opportunity for him. If only somebody was maybe looking at the back post. It's usually him. Hoist again with Gascoigne. Gascoigne trying to force his way through, still it's Gascoigne! And the goal kick is up. Alexanderson with the corner. A free header going in there. Stefan Peterson. Given a lot of space. And he may well have punished Rangers even for that. Well, this was a downfall last season in the Champions League. It's still not. I mean, they've not learned the lesson. See the moment in this tie but it was always wide and it was never a problem for Ravelli and that could be a telling moment playing his uh, 34th uh, European Cup tie tonight they'll be well pleased with uh, the scoreline this is Ekstrom by Peterson well, there seems to be a pull there on Alexanderson by turn referee allowing play to go on still it's Alexanderson a chance on for number three, and it's a substitute who scores, Eriksson. In the final minute of the match, Peter Eriksson, the substitute, has made it IFK Gothenburg three. Rangers now, now at Ibrox, two weeks from now. But once again, the defending was not the best. Good finish, the goalkeeper got a touch on it. 3-0 to Gothenburg. Well, you can always look at things and say, there's a lot of new players, there's a lot of new defenders. It takes you time. But Rangers defence tonight has made basic mistakes. As we show here, Eriksson straight through the heart of defence. We caught him no chance. But Rangers have to look at himself. Alexanderson's been the pick of the bunch in the second half. Good play. But look right through the heart of defence. That is not good defending. It's around now. Ball from Gascoigne. Ferguson tries one. That was a fine effort and a very good save by Ravelli. He's four half time. 